Hi, this is Phil Moore, and I'm uh, so excited to talk to you about a recent event that happened here during the time of the solstice in 2024, and it was called Gen Med, Generational Medicine. And what we were doing was we were leaning into uh, large questions like how do we uh, bridge the divides uh, of generations? How do we invest in bonds that could last a long time? How do we plant seeds for something new? And uh, that something new has its roots in the most ancient of our ancestors, which is to gather together and and multi-generations. And in our case, with people that some of us had never met before, in uh, groups over a period of essentially four full days, the groups were sometimes 12 people, sometimes 14, sometimes eight people. And at one moment, uh, when we were having an event called Generations Over Dinner, there were 60 of us. So I'm going to share the screen and um, bring up a picture that uh, really says a lot about our time together. And this is um, just one of the saunters. So what you do in gen medicine, instead of taking hikes, you take the advice of Henry David Thoreau and you go on this little quiet walk in the natural world. And we had uh, decided to saunter to a place called a forest school. And this is where we are at this moment. We're in the forest school. And you can see the children. There are several of them. What you can't see is that one of the members of our group is pregnant and about to have a child, well, within the next month. And, um, and then we have seniors, of course. There's uh, two baby boomers in there. And uh, well, actually three. And there's uh, millennials. And, uh, and here we are having an important experience because play is absolutely central to gen medicine. And who are the best teachers of play? Well, I would say these children that you see in this picture here. These children were the ones who showed us and taught us how easy it is to smile, to play simple games, to use the natural world and our imagination to be in different places. And they also let us uh, see just what they were able to do on this mini adventure playground. And we were able to applaud them. And when they made mistakes, they didn't experience them as mistakes. They just experienced them as trying. And because there's no curriculum really in the forest school, a lot of it has to do with interpersonal intelligence, how to ask for things, how to resolve conflicts, how to be together in the natural world and learn to meet new people and to love new people and to form bonds with them. Well, you can see there's also someone in this picture who would like to start a school. And so this is, she is a teacher and this last year, she was at, working at a very cool um, experimental school, not too far away from these, um, th this location here in the Blue Ridge Mountains. And, um, and so she's contemplating, what about next year? And so you can see the medicine is really in the eyes and the smiles of the people in this photo. Even if they're not smiling, you can feel the contentment of all of us being together. There's really nothing like Gen Medicine. It's an antidote to being on screens and it's an antidote to the loneliness and difficulties and traumas that we experienced during the, during the pandemic. And so we hope that uh, a little, message like this inspires you to connect with people of all generations and all decades. Thank you for, uh, for being a part of our share and a part of our GenMed group.